What's that? Struggling to get promoted in Football Manager? Then watch this. So for full disclosure, we have joined as Watford in the Championship. They are the favourites to go up, believe it or not, in Football Manager. What a surprise. It's almost like this favouritism towards them. And I've got five wonder kids, genuine wonder kids that you can sign in the Championship and five old heads. I say old, they're young compared to me, but they're brilliant. And they're all free that you can sign to get you out of this dreaded league. So let's start with the wonder kids. Number one on the list is Josh Adam. He is a cam, a central attacking midfielder who is a very good engorge, technically very good, very good vision. If he could come into your team and do the bits for £100,000, you're laughing. Physically, the guy doesn't really exist, let's be honest. But with those technicals and that Play a trait of tries killer balls often, you are laughing. He will do bits in the championship. Coming in at number two is a personal favourite of mine. Fares Chaibi is an absolute star. He's a central midfielder, but in reality, he can play anywhere at the top end of the pitch. Level-headed individual, very good across the ball. There's not that many weaknesses in his game. And in the centre of the park, if you can pick this boy up for the low 100,000s, you are laughing. He's on a low wage and you can pick him up in the championship. Go and snap him up. Coming in at number three is a player you probably need a large database for the rainbow stars i don't even know what nationality nigeria of course it is he is a center back six foot one twenty years old very very good indeed as a, just a standard center back your head in market tackling all 13s and 14s brilliant play you can pick him up for a couple of hundred thousand pounds and a pittance look at his wage and his contract expires in less than 12 months time load up the large database and go and buy Nduku Jr coming in at number 4 and we're trying to buy a Real Madrid player to play in the championship but believe it or not he does want to come and this boy contract ends in a year he's on a low wage and you can literally pick him up for half a million pound and he's going to be an absolute star of a goalkeeper in the future 6 foot 2 really nice stats there's a few gaps in his game mentally he's not really there is he but I do like the fact he's got good command good aerial reach and good reflexes six for two is what you want from a goalkeeper and the final one the kid is my favorite of all we've got a slovakian international playing in italy he's worth a lot of money this is the curveball he's worth five million pounds but if you're in the championship and let's say you start your save and somebody comes in from the premier league and buys your player for 20 million pound and you've got loads of money left over bosh strelik is your boy 21 his potential ability is through the roof he can play out wide or he can play as a really nice pressing forward up top he's got good mentals to play that role if you ask me and overall is a great player norwich are already sniffing around six foot one very physical snap him up and you will have a 20 30 40 million pound player at your disposal in a matter of years so there's your five wonder kids 21 and under okay but for some people that doesn't cut it because that's bed in the minute. in three or four years time they'll be superstars what if you want somebody right now and that's where these five other individuals come in you can buy them for zilch slot them into your team as a starter and they'll get you up that league let's meet those five boys once again full disclosure this is a large database we've loaded in we're in the championship with watford and we're going to buy an argentinian international renzo saravia look how good he is and he's free a five foot ten really good technically going forward he's got good fitness he's in a boat up and down the right hand where you can play wing back attack as well which is such a good role if you've got three center backs in the championship i'd argue he would walk in as one of the best definitely top three right backs in that league and he's only 29 you've got four years before the boy starts to decline sign up renzo get him in your team and have lots of fun and next up on the list we're going to get a very very good midfielder philip braderic six caps for croatia 30 years old and there's a lot of championship clubs already sniffing about and you can see why this boy is brilliant he's got good vision he's very decent defending as well as a deep line playmaker on defend i like this boy a lot his stats are decent composure could be a little bit better but come on he's amazing and when you look at his player traits oh my days for a playmaker these right here are perfect killer balls often you want that if they can play them of course Dick takes tempo and tries long range passes that's overpowered this year man oh balls over the top to the quick inside wing wingers or the inverted wing backs perfect so philippe is number two on the list and again only 30 years old snap him up and after that we're going off to canada to sign a canadian argentinian italian what well, is a mixed bag here but lucas cavallini is an absolute brilliant player as a target forward or pressing forward this boy is so so good he's six foot tall good in the air his mentals are are amazing i love a player who just goes onto the pitch 
and gives his all. And Lucas is going to be that boy for you. Again, only 29 years old. Four years in his locker before he starts to decline, he would easily do a job in the Premier League. Even after getting you out of the Championship as the top goal scorer with 59 goals, Lucas Daniel Cavallini, get him in. Number four on the list, and the last one's a special one, so hang around for that one. We got Philippe. Augusto, a Brazilian central midfielder, 28 years old. He could play as a defensive midfielder or a central midfielder. Al Ryan are interested in him, which tells me he's going to demand quite a high wage. But he would sign for Watford in the Championship, and he's such a good player. He's a bit of a journeyman. He's been around, if you look at the bottom right-hand corner of the clubs he's been with. But if he comes in with his passing ability and his vision, he is going to be getting assists for days and dictating the centre of the park for your team. Okay, this last one, he is special. He's a winger on both sides. He's free. He's 28 years old. His hair is magnificent and he's a Premier League quality player you can pick up in the Championship. Before I show you though, comment down below. Let me know, is there a go-to freebie, a free player you always pick up in Football Manager that just makes a difference to your team? I'd love to know add him down below and we can use this as maybe a place of knowledge where we can all come to find the best players to pick up for free in Football Manager 23. Enough babbling, this is the superstar. Fabio Martins, come on, he can play in a lot of positions. Do you know what, as a complete wing back out here, his stats would work very well, wouldn't they? Because defensively he's decent with 13 tackling, positioning is a bit lower, marking is a bit low. So yeah, I would play him up top here, but come on, how good is he? 28 years old, 5 for 10. He has been around Portugal. He's over to the United Arab Arab Emirates. I really like this player. Honestly, if you can get him, look at his traits as well. Gets into the opposition area, moves into channels, tries tricks, runs with ball off and cuts inside for the left wing. He's going to be a busy boy getting you out of the championship into the Premier League with ease. And there's your 10 players to get you out of the championship or any division maybe where you're looking to get into the elite, the top division. So if you did enjoy this little list we put together, check out this video next. It's similar vein and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.